Hello and welcome to this video. What I'm going to show you now is how to write an absolute value inequality when you're given a graph. So here is our lovely graph. So what we're going to do first is we need to establish what our home base is. So we are looking for home base. So here's house with windows. There's your house. So we're looking for home base. So home base is the point that is exactly in the middle of our two boundary values. So here our boundary values are 4 and 8. So we're looking for the value that's right in the middle of them. So how we can do that is we can find how far apart they are. We're finding the distance between them. So we find the distance between them by either counting on the number line. Here it's pretty easy to see or we use subtraction to find out how far apart they are. So that's what we're going to show because sometimes we're going to be working with numbers where it's not easy to count on the number line. So to find out how far apart they are, we can do 8 minus 4. And as we all know, that makes 4. So that tells us how far apart they are. But we want to find out where the middle is. So we're looking for the number in between. So we're going to cut that distance in half and get 2. So with that 2 we're going to move in 2 units from 8 and move in 2 units from 4 and ta -da, we get to 6. So that means home base is at 6. So now we're trying to figure out how far these values are from 6 because absolute value is talking about the distance from home base. So we're looking for how far a value is from home base. So in this case, we've already figured that out. It's 2. So what we can do is we can take our home base and our distance from home and incorporate them into our absolute value inequality. So our basic absolute value inequality is we have our absolute value bars. Our value is going to be some distance away. We use subtraction when we're talking about distance to show how far apart things are. Subtraction tells us how far apart things are. So what happens is our home base is what goes inside our absolute value. So that becomes 6. The, what's another color here? We'll use orange. The distance from the outside, distance from home goes on the outside. Now we need to figure out what symbol it is. So we can come back up to our original absolute value inequality and decide is this AND versus OR. So in this case, this is a situation where you need to stay close to home. You can go two houses this way or two houses that way, but you have to stay close to home, stay in this middle section. So this is an AND situation. We need to stay close to home. So when we're staying close to home, our distance is restricted, so we use a less than symbol. Our boundary value circles are not filled in, so we are not in or equal to situation. So what we have is our answer. The absolute value of the quantity x minus 6 is less than 2. And that's it. So that's how we do write an absolute value from a graph. So now you guys are going to try this on your own, and we'll see what kind of videos you can come up with.